Hey guys, welcome back to the series for week number 91. So coming in at 5, we've got a self-confessed idiot uh, racing in single player, so it pretty much has to be self-confessed. Uh, but there is a, a, a safety car, which he's kind of ignoring, and he's going all the way up the uh, straight here towards Casino Square. And not quite going to see the safety car, I'm going to do literally the worst thing you can do in that situation. And crash into it. And uh, yeah, I'd be pretty bummed too if that happened to me. So coming in at 4, uh, this was bound to happen at some time. Uh, LCR born rammer, finally getting caught out. Uh, had more than more than one person share some experiences with about this chap. Um, and we've actually spoken to his team about it too, but look, nothing's changed. So, um, yeah, surprised it didn't happen sooner to be honest. Uh, but coming through to the sax curve, gonna go for the massive punt there. Uh, only take out his teammate. So he might have been going for his teammate, but in that situation, uh, it's hard to say when there's so many other cars around. It's probably a bit irresponsible anyway. And having a reputation does often precede you. So South has not quite got the first corner right here at Spa, and uh, that's very un, un South. And then coming through uh, a Rouge, the guy's going to decide he wants to go too wide through a Rouge, and South's like, all right, we'll do that. And he's going to end up putting himself into the tie wall. Really should have backed off there. Especially since South was on the inside. So next we have uh, Case Spa. He's racing here in Porsche Cayman GT4s. And yeah, this is it's a bit scrappy. I'm not going to lie. Like maybe a little bit of a touch there. But that was a very definitely not the right corner to be going for. Because there is a chicane right there. So I think the guy was probably going for the cut given there's no tire walls there. Uh, but next we've got Rotary's Rule coming in with um, some self-confessed idiocy. He's not necessarily struggling with any tracks in particular. He's definitely struggling with the pit lanes though. So going into the pit lane at Le Mans, he's uh, gotten that a bit wrong. But not nearly as bad as this one. This one, I've watched it twice and I burst out laughing both times. Coming onto the exit, he's just pitted. And ready to get racing again, he's absolutely destroyed his car. Um, yeah, I mean, again, like last week, it's a brave man to submit that. So, uh, coming in for bonus clips, for those of you who didn't watch my video the other day, uh, this was me um, going for, a, a, thinking I was doing it pretty well, and thinking the car would handle it. It didn't quite do that. And uh, absolutely destroyed my car there. But the game sort of disconnected me uh, pretty much straight away anyway, so... Yeah, I was supposed to not be in that race. So next we have um, Cerberus spectating me. This is the, the full JSR Devon experience. Uh, so now that I've revealed that game attack. So this is where the lag is going to start. It's really bad. I'm going to go straight through the hospitality area. Right back on the track. And it was at that point I decided I should probably quit. Uh, so next we've got uh, John and Craviator messing around here. It looks like everyone's messing around really. And this was a little bit unexpected. I didn't expect this to happen. John's going to go for some sort of maneuver. He ended up rolling across the track. Uh, it was just classic JSR John. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. If you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe. And thanks to all the Patreon guys you're seeing up here in the description. Uh, if you'd like to join them, the link is up here in the description as well. And I will see you guys in my next video.